As we count down to the elections, how many of the candidates do you know? Today is another edition of Know Your Candidate and we'll bring you another political party giving you all the information that you need to know about the party as regards the candidates, the logo, as well as what their mandate is. And today the focus is on Action Democratic Party, ADP. The party logo is a hand holding a book with the inscription, ADP One Destiny, Action Forward. The presidential candidate's name is Engineer Yabagi Yusuf Sani and he is was born on the 1st of July 1957. He's a Nigerian politician, energy and crude oil expert, and the current national chairman of the Action Democratic Party, ADP. He was a presidential candidate in the 2019 Nigerian general election under the same party, ADP, and he's also running for the same post in the 2023 elections. Now, let's look at his manifesto. Engineer Yabagi Yusuf Sani said, when elected, his government will provide the principles of governance by rule of law, equality, and justice, and that his government will provide 35% affirmative action for women. That there is something that a lot of women have been advocating about when talking about gender equality. 35% affirmative action for women has been in the core uh, center of conversations around the country. He said ADP sees itself as a credible alternative to the kind of leadership that the country has had since the commencement of the Fourth Republic in 1999. Thus, there is a need to stabilize the economy and this can be done by a knowledgeable and competent party and leader. He also said that Nigerians should expect a political direction that will take them to economic prosperity, security, peace, stability and equity as against the nepotistic and myopic leadership that has taken Nigeria to this present precarious situation of economic stagnation, abject poverty and insecurity. So there you have it, all that you need to know about the ADP. Remember that the collection deadline for your PVCs is just around the corner. I uh, empathize with as many who have not yet been able to get their PVCs. We know that there has been frustration on some parts. There have been reports of people going to the INEC collection centers from 9 a.m. and they're there till 4 p.m. Yet they're not able to get their cards for several reasons. For some, they say that their cards have been printed and sent to other centers. We are appealing to INEC Nigeria to do all that it can to ensure that all Nigerians are not stripped of their right to vote. It is a right as provided in the Constitution. Remember that we do this every day of the week. We bring you updates, helping you know your parties, helping you know their logos, their manifestos, and giving you further insights to let you know as you choose who to vote at the polls. Remember, do not sell your vote because your vote is your future. And that's all that we have this morning on Election Countdown Nigeria. Over to you, Joe. Thank you so much, Olive. Um, great conversation how the new Naira notes design uh, could affect the presidential election. So uh, I really like the fact that uh, uh, Balan did break it down. Unfortunately, we're expecting him live in the studio. But you know what? The powers that be, uh, as rightly I mean, mentioned earlier on, uh, he was stuck in traffic. Not and far I think, off from Joe, him, it's just a reminder for us. Yeah. Right, for Nigerians who are currently experiencing, there's so many things that we can talk about. Apart from the inability for them to access their PVCs, there's also the fact that people are queuing in traffic for hours. Mm -hmm. Every time I have to drive to work in the morning, it's like the longest queue. Some people sleep there overnight because they have to get fuel, not just because they want to drive around, but they're trying to make money to feed their family. So as you go to the polls, ask yourself certain questions. The way that Nigeria is, if it remains like this for the next 48 years, would I be happy? Would my children be proud of the decision that I have made? Someone once said that whoever you're choosing as a political, as a presidential candidate, you should ask yourself if you can vote for this person, you know, if you would like for your child to turn out to become like this person. And if your answer is yes, you probably should vote them. Well, I guess that these, are, uh, these conversations are few and far in between, but uh, that's all that we have this morning. <laughs>